here to Fox and Friends. Time now for your medical rewind. Rewind. First up, new research this week shows that women who have their stomach stapled not only lose weight, they also may reduce their cancer risk by up to 40%. Here with everything you need to know is Dr. Jennifer Walden, clinical instructor of surgery at NYU's Langone Medical Center. Am I saying that right, by the way? Yes, you are. Okay, good. All right, let's start with this. This is interesting. Stomach stapling can actually help reduce cancer. How right. is this possible? This was a great study in Lancet that showed that women had a 42% decreased risk risk of uh, cancers like breast cancer and uterine cancer with stomach banding or stapling procedures or bypass procedures. And that's likely because um, women's cancers like breast cancer and uterine cancer are sensitive to estrogen and hormones that are made in the fat. And so the more fat we lose in the different hormonal environment after those surgeries, the less risk of cancer. So this is for women. Anything for men in this? Well, the, the men in this study were a smaller sample size. So the researchers are saying they did not see the effect in men. And also male cancers like colon cancer and kidney cancer might take longer to manifest. That meaning if, that's meaning if they went 10 more years, they might see that those uh, results matched up with the women. Oh, interesting. Okay. Next one. This is interesting. Um, I don't know if we can, can zoom in on this side here. I'm starting to get a little bald spot, I think. Am I getting a little? Uh, is it? Yeah. No? No. Maybe some right there. Wait, you know, you're, you're not supposed to say, yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to say, no, Clayton, not at all. But now there's new hope for me. Apparently, Botox can cure baldness, and this was found out by accident? Well, I, I would caution the viewers. This is a press release that was issued by an individual dermatologist in Beverly Hills. He was injecting his mother with Botox for migraines, which is an off-label use in itself, mm -hmm. and he saw that her hair started to come back. Now, hair misses a cycle with chemotherapy, and so it likely was naturally coming back. Um, if Botox caused hair to grow back, we would see a lot of people with unibrow walking around because thousands <laughs> of people in the United States get Botox every three or four months. That would be a problem. Yeah. You, 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 might look, you might get rid of the wrinkles, but you'd have a unibrow. Right. So this is what we call an anecdotal report, and there are absolutely no studies or data to confirm this. Well, thanks for cutting through the smoke on that one. All right. Um, I love this next story, which is that a new study shows that if you whisper or ask someone a favor in their right ear, as opposed to their left ear, leaning over, let's say you're out to dinner, you're at a club or something like that, you're more likely to get a favorable response. Why is that? Well, this is a great groundbreaking study, and you got to leave it to the Italians to do their research in nightclubs, but they looked at <laughs> a lot of people, and basically conversations um, were more likely to be heard when people were leaning in and listening with the right ear. When they asked inaudible questions, people leaned in with their right ear. And when the researchers asked people for a cigarette, they were more likely to get it if they were asking in the right ear versus the left ear. And that's because the left brain processes language. And the right ear is wired to be processed by the left brain. The left ear is wired really to be processed in the right brain, which is spatial, musical, numeric, more intuitive uh, information processing. Let me try this out. Um, after this segment, can you go grab me some breakfast? I'm not listening. She's not even listening. I guess this study doesn't work. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Walden, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank thanks for breaking it down for us. Um, all right, what's coming up here on the show? It's this. What's the future of...